Okay, hello everybody. Today we're going to make a blueberry pie from, uh, from the crust to the filling. Okay, look. Right here I have one stick of butter and one stick of margarine, and they're very cold. I put them in the freezer for about uh, 15 minutes. They're very cold, all right? And what you want to do is you want to chop them up into little cubes, small cubes. It's important that they're cold, okay? The same thing with the cream cheese. It's very cold. All right, so there we go. We're going to just chop them into little cubes, and we're going to put them in the mixing bowl. Now, if you don't have a mixer like this, then you can use a hand mixer. If you don't have a hand mixer, if you have a pastry cutter, you know that thing with the wires and the handle on it, you can use that. Just put everything in a bowl and use that pastry cutter. If you don't ha even have one of those, you can use your hands. But just be careful that when you mix it up, that the, the heat from your hands isn't melting the little chunks of butter. You've got to have those little chunks in there in the dough. That's what makes it flaky, okay, is the little chunks. What happens is as the dough starts to cook, the chunks uh, start to melt and then they start to fry. They fry the uh, surrounding layers of flour, you know. So that's what gives you the chunkiness. I mean the uh, uh, flakiness. Okay, so anyway, uh, there goes all the butter, all the little chunks in the bowl. Okay, now I'm going to add the cream cheese once I get the thing moving. Once I get the, uh, uh, the paddle, you know, the machine. Okay, there goes two cups of all-purpose flour. Two cups. You don't have to sift it, but you do have to measure it. All right, two cups. And there's one teaspoon of salt going in. This is the easiest pie dough you can ever make, I'm telling you. And it is delicious. Believe me, it's perfect. All right, there goes one teaspoon of salt. Uh, wait a minute, I don't know what happened there. Oh, there it is. One teaspoon of salt. Okay. All right. Bye-bye, salt. Okay. There you go. All right. Now, you're going to start the machine up or start mixing with your hands. It doesn't matter. Whatever you're using, start mixing it. And then we're going to add chunks of, there you go. You see the cream cheese? It goes in pretty big chunks. Uh, all righty. That's eight ounces of cream cheese, by the way, one package. Okay. I'm gonna knock those in there. There you go. All right. Okay. Keep mixing it. Mixy, mixy. Hi, mixy. All righty. Okay. Uh, okay. Now there's no water added to this. This is a foolproof pie dough. There's nothing to it. Just the important thing is that the ingredients are cold. That's the important thing. It's the only thing you have to worry about with this pie dough is that the ingredients are cold. All right, now we're going to turn it up a little bit. Now you can see the little chunks, you know, the butter is, uh, you know, it's staying in chunks because it's ice cold, you know. All right, now when it starts to look like it wants to uh, start you know, to become a dough, that's when you stop it. All right, let's see. We keep going here. Um, man, I love this pie dough. It is so simple, and it it's, a, it's foolproof. I mean, it's the same thing every time. It's not like when you have to add the water and you got to try to, you know, two more drops and all that, you know, forget it. That's a big pain. All right, now, here it's starting to come together now. There you go. Okay, that should be enough. Turn it off. There you go. All right. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do now is roll it out into a cylinder shape. Now, you know how regular pie dough tells you you have to uh, refrigerate it, you know, before you work with it? Well, this one you don't. As long as everything is cold, you don't have to refrigerate it. Okay. I'm going to pour it out here and, and get it all together. Now, I ended up with four uh, portions here. 
There's two bottoms and two tops. So I have enough here to make two pies. Uh, however, I did have to piece some of it together. You'll see what I'm talking about. If you don't want to worry about piecing anything together, then just use three portions instead of four. And roll it out and you, you'll have enough to, uh, you know, to make a, a bottom and a top. And then you'll have one other bottom. You'll have three uh, different portions here. All right, there you go. Now, if you look close, you can see the butter in there. You can. I should have done a a, a close up of it, but I I spaced out. But you can see the little chunks of butter in the dough. You can see it, the lighter yellow. All right, here goes one teaspoon. I mean, one tablespoon of lemon juice. That, by the way, is four cups of blueberries. All right. I don't know if you guys remember when the my produce stand had the blueberries for sale. They were a dollar a pint. So I have two dollars worth of uh, blueberries in there. <laughs> All right, here comes five tablespoons of cornstarch. Now, if you want a runnier pie, you'll see at the end, this pie does not run. This isn't one of those, you know how blueberry pies are always all so messy? Well, this doesn't run. Five tablespoons of cornstarch is enough to hold it all together. Now, if you want it a little runnier, well, then put three tablespoons or four. You know, I I just don't like blueberry pie that just runs out everywhere. You know, I don't like it. So I put five tablespoons of cornstarch, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and four cups of blueberries and... Um, and uh, one, uh, oh, three quarters cup of sugar, but I'm making this sugarless. So this is stevia, three quarters cup of stevia and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Uh, anyway, my produce stand had the blueberries for a dollar a pint. I bought about 20 of them and threw them in the freezer. So those are actually frozen blueberries, what you're looking at. And uh, they work just as well, you know, you know, thaw them out. And pour off any juice that's there and then, you know, go from there. So there's uh, uh, five uh, tablespoons of cornstarch. Mix them all up. Try not to smash the berries. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of, whatchamacallit, uh, cinnamon. It's coming in here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Or did I add it already? I don't even know. Well, anyway, there's one one teaspoon, I'm sorry, one teaspoon of cinnamon, not tablespoon. Wait a minute, it might be a half. Wait, let me look, let me look. Yes, it is. It's a half teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, one half teaspoon, there it goes. All right. Uh, now there, I'm cutting the portions. I'm, uh, I have four different portions. Now you can see the butter chunks in there. You can see them a lot better. Okay, that's important to have those little chunks. That's why the butter and the margarine have to be cold. They have to be ice cold. Um, oh, there. Those two I froze. Those two other portions I froze for next time. I might make pumpkin pie out of them. I don't know. I do have some pumpkin. And it is that time of year. Oh, man, pumpkin pie. I love it. Woo, doggies. Okay, anyway. Uh, we have enough for a top and a bottom right there. All right. Now, look, I didn't put that in the refrigerator at all. You know, I just left it out. Now we're going to start using it. Not a problem. Just smash it down and roll it out. This is the best pie dough ever. I'm not kidding you. You got to try this. All right. Again, the pie dough is two sticks of butter or one stick of butter and one stick of margarine. Two cups. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Two cups of flour. One teaspoon of salt and eight ounces of cream cheese. That's it. 
That's all you got to do. Just make sure they're ice cold. Very important. All right. So there's our pie dough. We're going to fold it up into quarters there, as you can see. And then uh, put it into the pie pan. That makes it a lot easier when you lift it up, when you fold it like that. All right. There we go. Okay. Now you can see. I... I have to piece it together a little bit. I mean, usually the the bottom pie dough usually is 10 ounces on a 9-inch pie. It's 10 ounces of pie dough, and on the top is 8. 8 ounces of pie dough. Uh, but I think I used both of these are 8 ounces. So, you know, I had to piece it together a little bit, which is fine. Don't worry about it. There's nothing to it. The... You know, the bottom part doesn't have to be pretty anyway, you know. Uh, there, I ripped the top part, so I just glued it back together. In that in that cup there with the brush, I have uh, water and sugar. I didn't want to bust an egg open just for one pie, you know. It's not worth it. Just water and sugar. That's my glue. Okay, now here come the blueberries. Just dump them in. In the blueberries is four cups of blueberries, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, five tablespoons of cornstarch, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Now, if you want, you could add some butter right now. You can put a couple pats of butter in there uh, if you want, but I, man, I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? I have enough butter in the pie dough. I don't need any more stinking butter. No more butter. It's not It's not 100% necessary, although it does give it a nice flavor. You know, butter. Mmm, buttery. All right, now there you can see I got to piece it together a little bit. That's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. By the time it bakes, you'll never know. All right. There, I put a little glue and a little piece of uh, uh, repair over there. All right, smash it down a little, and now you make your little fancy crusty thing, whatever you want to put on there. I'm just making it real simple. All right, cut it on top so that it um, so that it lets the steam out. Here comes a little bit of uh, sugar and water. Okay, now what I'm going to do is the leftover... Uh, trimmings there wait I'll show you in a minute what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna oil a piece of tin foil and I'm gonna put those trimmings on the tin foil add a little bit of cinnamon sugar well first add some glue and then some cinnamon sugar and um, whoops there we go first I add the glue and then put it on the tin foil otherwise all that stuff will stick with the glue and all all right, there goes the oil on the tin foil. Alrighty, and um, I'm gonna put those things on there. I hate to throw them away, you know. They're really good. You uh, take a little bit of uh, cinnamon sugar, you sprinkle it on there, and throw them into the oven with the pie. I mean, those little pieces there are man, they're great. They're dynamite. Have a cup of coffee while the pie is waiting. <laughs> Well, you're waiting on the pie. <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay, the pie goes in 375 degrees. There it is. Okay, now watch this. Oh, oh now wait now. I did put it in the, in the refrigerator for about an hour. It was in the refrigerator for approximately an hour. So uh, it is a little bit more firm than it would be if it just sat on the counter for an hour. But here we go. Look at this. Oh, man. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. I mean, that's really perfect. Look at that, man. Get a hit of ice cream on there, and you got it made. Holy moly. Now, like I said, if you want it a little runnier, use less cornstarch. Um, okay. Also, if you want the crust thicker, just 
cut three portions instead of four. All right, now listen, you might be able to find this someplace else around town, but you're not going to find it any better than this right here. I got to go. I got to eat.